More scary news tonight in the Ebola outbreak. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention now says the problem is spiraling out of control. And Greta Cruz is in our newsroom now with the latest developments. Greta? That's right, Allison. But there is one glimmer of hope. The phase one clinical trial of an Ebola vaccine began today at NIH in Bethesda. First time in humans, 20 volunteers ages 18 to 50. Now, none have Ebola, but it is a critical response to what the CDC says is an epidemic that's spiraling out of control. More than 3,000 people in West Africa have been infected with Ebola. More than half have died. And the Centers for Disease Control says that's lowballing it. It's spiraling out of control. It's bad now, much worse than the numbers show. It's going to get even worse in the very near future. This is another American doctor working in a Liberian hospital has tested positive for Ebola, and he was treating pregnant women, not Ebola patients. The epidemic has prompted President Obama to release a video to West Africans. Stopping this disease won't be easy, but we know how to do it. You are not alone. Health officials say Ebola is often spread when relatives prepare loved ones for burial. Now teams spray a victim's house with bleach before entering in a protective gear and removing the body. The families must mourn from a distance. Entire villages have been decimated. Yeah, they die. They die. They did house right behind me. There's about nine person living in this house, and seven of them die. Whole towns have been quarantined, but officials fear those residents, cut off from supplies, will now die of hunger if Ebola doesn't kill them first. So much hope now lies in the labs, getting a vaccine safe for humans out quickly. The crucial thing we do, we need to do is to act fast. Action today is worth much more than action in a couple of weeks or a month or two. Now, the NIH vaccine trial results are expected by the end of the year. Now, this is different from the ZMAP. That was the experimental drug successfully used to treat two Americans already infected with Ebola. Today, officials announced a $25 million deal with the drug company to speed up production of more ZMAP. Live in the newsroom, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Greta.